My name is Dave Benny. I've been volunteering for the Port Moody Ecological Society for 30 years. I teach uh, school classes and environmental education to students coming through. This is our, we call our duck pond. So the kids all get a sieve and they all look for aquatic insects all along the edge of this pond here. Our hatchery raises coho salmon and we usually get about 15,000 a year. And then we raise them and we'll spread them out to another creek in the south of uh, Port Moody's. Why is salmon are important? Because it's like a, a species that feeds everything. We've had a bear in here eating our fish and his carcasses. Well, it becomes fish fertilizer for the forest. There's all sorts of other wildlife depend on salmon to get them through the winter. That protein, that rich nutrients. The drought this year has been really hard. So the creek's really low because it's all subdivision up on the hillside up here. The water goes on the roofs, uh, on the driveways, and goes down the storm systems and into the creek, like right now, instead of soaking into the ground and taking weeks to soak out, now it's down the creek and gone, so we don't get a steady flow anymore. We have a side channel up here, we call our side channel. Normally we had lots of water to feed it, and it was never a problem. But this year we're having troubles keeping it flowing. We've got salmon in there spawning, keeping water in our coho pond, which is here behind me. It has between eight and 10,000 coho frying it right now and being able to operate the hatchery incubation room takes constant flow of water in there and then we have tanks with fish adult fish sitting in them right now so trying to balance that water out and then the water's dropping is kind of the challenge big challenge right now for us ultimate goal would be we wouldn't have to have this the fish could come back normally but it's such urban impact and it's so drastically changed the system i don't know if we'll ever be able to have it this natural again.